I've been a Navy SEAL for 36 years. I saw the worst of humanity. One man healed me of my greatest malady, fear. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. The initial assessment was that I needed to return to the States to have my spleen removed and begin chemotherapy. The doctor who detected the cancer made it clear to me that my life was about to change, that I should accept my fate and prepare for life outside the military, a life of painful chemo, hair loss, and fatigue. She gave me no hope that things would be better. My wife came to Texas and met with a world-class oncologist. The door swung open and a loud, boisterous, ruddy-faced man walked in and hugged me. And I am not a hugger. She asked the doctor, should he eat more fruits and vegetables? No, he said. Well, should he exercise more? No, not really. Well, should he drink less alcohol? Oh, God, no. <laughs> he sat down and quickly told my wife that she didn't need to get a new boyfriend. <laughs> Something else will kill him before this does, he told her. In light of the early diagnosis, my wife was stunned by the proclamation. I quickly jumped in and said, can I go back to Afghanistan? And he said, as long as you don't get shot. Soon after the visit, I did go back to Afghanistan and spent the next five years continuing to serve in the military. I like to think that in that time, my service resulted in hundreds of lives saved. All because one man gave me hope, because one man healed me of my greatest malady, fear. Even under the most dire of conditions, hope can heal. It is on Wednesday of Hell Week that you paddle down in the mud flats and spend the next 15 hours trying to survive this freezing cold. To me, basic SEAL training was a lifetime of challenges crammed into six months. Because you were cold and wet and miserable and it seemed like there was no hope in sight. The mud consumed each man till there was nothing visible but our heads. It was still over eight hours till the sun came up. Eight more hours of bone chilling cold. And then one voice began to echo through the night. One voice raised in song. And the instructors come up and they start yelling, hey, you, stop singing, stop singing. But then another kid started singing and another. And two became three and before long, everyone in the class was singing. And somehow the mud seemed a little warmer and the wind a little tamer and the dawn not so far away. And he gave us hope at that point in time. And that's what SEAL training was all about. It was finding out where you can find hope in the midst of being neck deep in mud. Hope surpasses all our understanding. Hope is the medicine that gives smiles to the forlorn, faith to the disenchanted, and life to the dying. In my nearly six decades of life, as with many in the audience, I have seen or experienced just about every ailment, disease, trauma, or heartbreak there is to know. During the wars of the past 13 years, I have seen combat hospitals filled with amputees, burn and blast victims, and I have seen many a good men die on operating tables. But at the end of the day, the good I have seen in this world far outweighs the evil. I have also seen disease eradicated, the cripple walk again, the heartless given new life, and the hopeless cured. If I have learned anything in my time traveling the world, it is the power of hope. The power of one person, a Washington, a Lincoln, King, Mandela, and even a young girl from Pakistan, Malala. One person can change the world by giving people hope. You will all have an opportunity to inspire someone around you. Never, ever miss that opportunity.